How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, I got a comment on this story before I go to bed. Uh, the other day, Seattle Seahawks defensive end Michael Bennett was a guest on ESPN's radio Dan Lay Batard show and spoke on Black Lives Matter. In September, he said the Black Lives Matter movement is more about the social injustice of the people who are supposed to protect them. And he he repeated the point on Wednesday and took it further, saying that police killing black men is a form of terrorism. We see a lot of black men being killed by the police, and I'm hoping something changes. We talked about the Black Lives Matter thing. That's one of the things we were talking about. People should be protecting us, and police is one of them, and every month we find another black man is murdered, and I think that's a form of terrorism, too. We talk about Paris. It's not about blowing up a building or anything. But at the same time, it's killing our own people. It's happening to the people that's supposed to be protecting us. Well, he's repeating himself. But what doesn't happen and what you don't hear is the bulk of the people shot by police in this country are white. And you're more liable to, because they have a higher percentage of the population. Police kill more whites than blacks. And... This was said by Michael Medved, PolitiFact checked it out. 2,151 whites in a, in a decade died from be, being shot by police compared to 1,130 blacks. Whites comprise 63% of the population. Blacks make up 12%. And more whites die than blacks as a result of an encounter that with police, your odds in getting shot if you're white are lower than if you're black, but, you know, there's still a lot of black crime out there. And so they're they're skewing all the all the things. Black lives matter. If someone kills by cop, he's not black. I guess that doesn't matter to these people. And uh, the odds that a black man will be shot and killed by police officers, one in 60,000. For a white man, it's one in 200,000. But then again, the bulk of our prisoners in, in uh, institutions, uh, I think, are black. I'm not certain of that, so I don't want to be criticized if I'm wrong. Whites make up 63% of the population. Blacks make up 12%. So, these are the figures that came out in April of this year. So, they, they scream when a black man gets shot. But, um, here's a case. Gilbert Collar, an 18-year-old white student at the University of South Alabama, was shot and killed while naked, unarmed, and under the influence of drugs by a black police officer. The officer, Travis Austin, was cleared of wrongdoing in 2013 by a Mobile County grand jury that received little media coverage outside of Alabama. His parents filed a lawsuit last year against the officer. FBI data on police shootings is notoriously incomplete. And there's a website, Killed by Police. You can go there. I'll put a link on it. So, you know, but the to say this is terrorism is ridiculous. Uh, this player said he has to do the right thing when driving around in his car. He has to make sure he's doing everything right and proper. Well, that's what everybody should be doing when they're driving. And they don't like what he's driving. He, I don't know what kind of car he drives. That He's probably not driving a Prius. But uh, if you don't have an attitude, if you're not pissed off the world and you say, here's my license, here's my registration, here's my insurance... And you're obviously not reaching for a weapon. They're probably not going to hassle you. If you've got a chip in the shoulder, they're going to hassle you. I've been stopped by cops. My girlfriend's been stopped by cops. Her girlfriend's been stopped by cops. We're all white. No one shot us. Because we don't have an attitude when the cops stop us. We're not happy being stopped. It's an intrusion under our lives that we didn't want nor did we need. But we've gotten stopped for tags, taillights, and God knows what else. And they gave us a ticket. We go on our way. But uh, some black guys have attacked the cops when they get stopped. You see videos on it on shows. You see videos on it on TV. 
You see videos on YouTube. And some got one guy attacked a cop recently uh, around Fresno, a sheriff's deputy, and two Latinos and a white guy went to his aid. The guy was trying to get his gun and kill him. You didn't hear anything about that in the national news, did you? No. You heard about it on Fox. But you'll never hear that story on CNN or MSNBC or The View or ABC or CBS or NBC because uh, a black guy assaulting a cop is ignored unless he gets killed or shot. And neither happened to the guy. They took him to jail. I'm not saying that it's right for police to shoot anyone. Times to have no choice. They're threatened with a weapon, other people being threatened. But that's the last thing most cops want. That's what they're trained not to do. But they don't think they wake up. I don't think any cop, unless he's a racist, gets up in the morning to... And to think otherwise is, is ridiculous. All right. That's all i got to say about this. And um, I'm sure I'm going to get flack for it. But uh, there's emphasis on blacks being killed by cops. And you don't hear very little about other races, other than whites, get killed by cops. I'm sure it happens. I don't know the figures. You'd have to look it up. All right. Have a great morning. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.